Hey there, it's Mario and in this video I wanted to share with you guys a couple of thoughts on building that Hollywood actor physique, doing celebrity workouts and in general, like how can you build that body that you saw your favorite superhero has or your favorite actor or just someone you really admire, like a celebrity. So I'm gonna approach this from two different angles. So the first angle will be something related to a lot of people that just approach me for coaching or in general when they ask me a couple of questions I usually get a question is like hey man I want to build the body of that specific actor in that specific movie an example would be Gerard Butler 300 you know I, I can remember countless times guys ask me hey man I want to look like Gerard Butler in 300 or I want to look like Thor from Avengers or I want to look like Captain America or I want to look like Cristiano Ronaldo which is a very common one right so people have a specific physique as a goal so that's the first kind of issue there is that you really can't look like someone else like you can't have that exact same body like someone else and that someone else can not have the exact same body as you do so you can't have my body I can't have yours we are genetically determined same as our facial structure same as our like height that's completely determined by genetics mostly like for most part and we can't really change what our DNA says how our muscles will look like our muscles will insert close closer or further away from a specific tendons depending on our DNA right that's something you can't modify so it's really un unrealistic to expect that you're gonna be able to build that exact same body right and what you can expect is simply to have that amount of muscle mass, like to carry that amount of muscle mass or more muscle mass and have that level of body fat percentage, right? That's something you can expect and you can look amazing, right? You will look amazing if you achieve that Hollywood actor body fat level percentage, which is quite low, is fairly ripped for most guys that I've ever been asked for. And if you develop that amount of muscle mass with a couple of years of training, you're gonna look fantastic, right? But you cannot look like that exact same person. And that's like, that's something a lot of people don't wanna hear. I mean, that's something like a lot of people are completely confused about, you know, they see my picture and they're like, hey man, I wanna look exactly like you. Well, dude, you can't look like exactly like me. I can't look like exactly like you. You might achieve a better looking physique in two years of training more than I did in five years of training, right? It's completely genetically determined and that's something that shouldn't really hinder you, but it should inspire you to become the best version of yourself. But that is really what it all comes down to, is really working on your overall development because you can develop your muscles quite far close to your genetic potential. And those muscles, when you develop them, they're gonna have their unique look and it's gonna look amazing, right? The more you train, the better you look and you can train them from various different angles, which is highly recommended, various different repetition ranges, training programs, protocols, there's many, many protocols out there, and that is what's gonna ensure the maximum development of that muscle part, right? And that will be all you need to do, essentially, and lower your body fat percentage, and you're gonna look fantastic. The second issue that I find with a lot of these people, and kind of the second angle is that, People who want to achieve these uh, types of physiques, they go for those celebrity workouts, right? They're going to read a, on a blog post or like an article, like a forum post saying, this is the 300 workout, this is the Spartan workout, this is the, the Avengers workout or like the Superman workout, right? And what information the person who wrote that article relied on is like either an interview with an actor or just completely made up a plan. I'm not even gonna go into that who completely made up the plan because that's just a bunch of fucking nonsense. But let's say someone who just had an interview with an art with an actor or just based a workout upon an interview. You wanna realize something that actors are not fitness professionals. They they rarely can recall exactly what they did. And even if they can, I mean we tend to forget a lot of things, like a lot of important details when it comes to things that we've done. Even within 72 hours, I think the studies say like, even in 72 hours, you forget like 60% of the information that we learned. So if you're relying on that actor, you're most likely getting false information in the first place. Like they don't know what they did for training. They don't know what they did for the diet. They usually reveal like a couple of specific foods that they remember. Nobody really talks about details. Even if they reveal some kind of calorie macro ratio, I mean, these numbers are either off the charts or super low. You're gonna hear like 
uh, like especially like singers or celebrities that are gonna say like hey I eat like 500 calories a day you know or like uh, then you're gonna have a male actor and say hey I eat 8,000 calories a day and to prepare for this movie and they're like completely ripped like 150 pounds right I mean it just doesn't make any sense so you want to realize that these workouts that are around the internet spreading around are not coming from professionals that they're most likely not an optimized workout plan that you want to be doing for yourself and it's not going to get you to your goal in most cases you know working out some workout is better than none but I mean realistically speaking these workouts will not get you there but what you can get out of these actors, what you want to get out of all of your celebrities, of every single person that, that kind of inspires you is that inspiration, is that motivation. Because their hard work should inspire you to work hard as well. Because hard work is the great equalizer, right? You can use them as an inspiration because they do an amazing job at acting, at like building their body, like amazing transformations. Uh, like all of these guys are really working hard. and. I find a lot of inspiration like just watching them perform and just do their job. I, I did a couple of acting lessons and I can tell you that the body and the physique and all of that is just 5-10% of the whole thing, right? This, there's a whole different universe out there which is like the acting world which most people don't even know about. And it's really, really hard. This skill set takes decades to learn and it's so fucking difficult. And I really hope people realize that and that you can use these people as an inspirational figure in your life to get some motivation out of them to work hard, to take action and to improve your body and to improve your life. So the bottom line is that you can never look like someone else. You can only look like the best version of yourself and you should be looking to find an optimal workout plan for you, which is the volume that you need to do to progress. Look at those core principles like safety, consistency and progression build the body you want if you don't have a plan i'm gonna leave a link in the description below you can download my lean and strong plan which you use as a baseline to build your own workout and then you can go from there i've already had multiple reports of guys getting amazing results with the workout plan so i'm sure you're gonna love it there's a lot of good movements in there and in general you want to seek out proven workout plans out there that have produced results rather than some blog posts or some articles based on an interview which is kind of similar to that telephone game in high school that people do you know by the end of the, like the line it just turns into something completely different and that's just the way it is right and besides that just wanted to share this with you guys because I got a lot of questions on it I hope you guys got value out of it hope you realize a couple of things and if you have any comments any questions on this specific topic leave it in the below in the comment section and let's discuss let's share some ideas I know this video is probably gonna get shared a lot as usual and uh, might create some controversy out there with the, with the muscle shaping stuff and in general if you enjoyed the video make sure to click subscribe below to support the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace